So the last step we're going to do here is we're going to sanitize the unit before we put our mix in it. Uh, we're going to use a Steri-Sheen uh, powder. So you're going to use one package of this to two gallons of water. So I'm not sure which size bucket you have. If you have the uh, one here that's got the Taylor logo on it, there is a two gallon line up here. So you want to fill that with two gallons of cool water. Uh, I should also mention anytime we're putting any water in the machine, we never want to use hot water in the machine. Uh, especially after you just drained out the barrel at the beginning. Uh, this was 19 degrees, we pour 120 degree water in there, we could break something. Also, if we put real hot water in here now, or sanitizing, well, it's gonna take a lot, if it doesn't do any, have any issues with it, it uh, when it goes to cool down, because of the quick rapid change in the temperature, um, it will take longer for sure to, to freeze our product down. So we always wanna use cold water. Uh, so we're gonna use one packet of the Steri Sheen. Oh, we're gonna fill the gallon, the uh, bucket up here to two gallons. We've got this style of bucket, this ring right here, top here this is two gallons of water there's actually markings on the inside but sometimes they're kind of hard to see but that ring right there is two gallons so we're gonna fill it with cold water take our packet we're gonna open it up pour it in these have already been done our sanitizer is ready to go and right, now we've got our sanitizer water mixed up I like to take the brush and put it inside the hopper here and you pour the water over that brush it'll help diffuse the water and keep it from splashing so much on you so we're gonna pour a little bit in Verbal. If it's verbal, and that means that we it's displacing the air in there, and we don't have anything going into our drip tray, and we're okay to fill it the rest of the way. Put our bucket underneath here. We can hit our bleeder valve here. Open that up. Once the water starts coming out of the bleeder valve, we can close it up, and we know we're primed up. Next thing I want to do is I like to pull this out, feed tube. I'm going to put that inside the, hot, the sanitizer water so it gets sanitized as well in this process. And also, I want to make sure I push some water through that pump. So we're going to turn the unit back on. It should say unit clean. We're going to hit our manual pump button here. That's going to manually move the pump back here. So when I hit that, it's going to suck up some water, sanitizer water from the hopper, and spray it out of the top here. So let that run a couple of times, that way the pump gets sanitized. Turn it back off. Now that we've got it off, we're gonna hit our wash button. That's gonna put us into our sanitizing process for the barrel. So we'll let this run for a couple minutes, and we'll come back to you with the mix in a minute. All right, so after we let it run for a couple minutes with the sanitizer water in the hopper in the barrels, we're gonna drain it out. Once the hopper gets low, where there's no more water in the hopper, I'm going to hit that pump again to flush out the remaining sanitizer water that's in the pump up top. So now we've got the hopper basically drained out. I want to hit the manual pump again, chase out the remaining water that's in the pump. Pump a couple of times, turn that back off, and we'll finish draining the barrel. Once the hopper and barrel is drained out, we want to make sure we grab our feed tube out of here that out and we can either sit on the back here or sit on the side just sit up on top that way it doesn't fall in the mix while we're pouring our mix in. Also make sure to turn the wash button off this time. Mix into the hopper we can open up our prime plug. Wait for it to prime here. Once it starts dribbling out of the bottom we are prime we can close the prime plug. Then put our sheet tube in place and put the pan in to lock it in. We are set. Put the lid on and put it in auto. A few minutes are out. Go with it. Alright, so we want to make sure that the compressor kicks off before we start serving any mix out of our finished product out of the machine. The compressor's kicked off, we're frozen down. Force them out. There we go. 